tra la la pom pom diga diga do here's a question just for you but the little you pia you when when which why how and who if that's asking such a lot shrimp up a pilly pom tick tack tot then just simply guess what guess what Guess who what pa 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 with Jan Rubesh. I was looking at some old family movies with my boys and then we got into an argument. You know what an argument is, don't you? It's sort of a fight. The only thing you don't fight with fists, you fight with words. And it can be a very friendly fight. It can be quite unfriendly because you can hurt somebody with words too. What we were fighting, what we were arguing about was that the uh, hand is quicker than the eye. You see, I was telling them something about how moving pictures are made possible because the eye cannot follow everything. And then I mentioned this old saying that the hand is quicker than the eye and that my boys would believe it. But the truth is that the hand can't really move so fast that the eye cannot follow it. And to prove my point, I made a little toy for my boys. I drew a face of a boy on a card. Maybe I'm not a very good drawer. Smiling face with eyes looking up and with hair down. And then I drew a similar picture right on top, except the mouth was straight, the eyes were looking down, hair up. And then I started to move my pencil like this. And you see, although there were two pictures, you could see only one picture, one moving picture, because your eye could not follow my movement. You see, an argument like this actually started the moving pictures. There were two men in California, and they were very um, fond of horses. They went a lot to races, and they had an argument. Uh, but before I tell you about that argument, why don't I sing you a song about the most famous race in those days, Camp Town Race. In Camp Town, ladies sing this song, do da, do da, the Camp Town race track five miles long, oh do da day. I come down there with my head caved in, do da, do da. I go back home with a pocket full of tin, oh do da day. Going to run all night, going to run all day. I'll bet my money on the bottle like somebody bet on the bay. Going to run all night, going to run all day. I'll bet my money on a bottle like somebody bought on the bay. See them flying on a ten mile here, do da, do da. Around the racetrack, then repeat, oh, do da day. I win my money on a bobtail nag, do da, do da. I keep my money in an old tow bag, oh, do da day. Going to run all night, going to run all day. I'll bet my money on a bobtail nag, somebody bet on the bay. Going to run all night, going to run all day. I'll bet my money on a bobtail nag, somebody Somebody bet on the babe. Well, these two guys in California were arguing about horses. And the argument was this. One of them was saying that when the horse runs really fast, that at one point he has all four legs in the air. And the other man said, no. I believe that the horse, when he runs really fast, always has at least one foot on the ground. And they were looking at this horse running and they couldn't settle anything. But because they had a lot of money, do you know what they decided? There was a famous photographer in England, his name was Mr. Muybridge, and they decided to bring him all the way from England to California to decide this bet. Uh, Mr. Muybridge arrived from England. 
Well, that's half around the world from England to California. And then when he heard about the argument, he thought that was April Fool's. I mean, what was he going to do? Take a picture of a running horse? One picture? That won't settle any argument, he thought. And then he got interested. He thought, if I could take many pictures of a running horse, and guess what he did? He set up no less than 24 cameras just next to the track where the horse was going to run. And then the opening of the camera was connected with a rubber band. And when the horse ran by, the horse tripped the rubber band and the camera took a picture. Then the next camera took a picture and the next and the next and the next and the next. And finally, Mr. Muybridge wound up with 24 pictures of a running horse. And that was the first time people could see pictures of a moving thing or a moving animal. Then later on, Mr. Muybridge even took pictures of moving people. And then later on, Mr. Edison and Mr. Eastman and Leader Forrest and other people put their heads together. They finally took pictures on a long strip of film and run it through a camera and then run it through a projector like I have. And we have moving pictures, we have films. And now, of course, you can go to a picture, to a moving picture, if it's a cowboy film, you can settle the argument for yourself, whether the horse has his feet off the ground at one point or always one foot on the ground. Well, you answer the question. I am going to sing you a song about a running horse. This one comes from my home country. But I will sing it to you in English, too. Ja mam konie w ranni konie, to i są konie mi. Ja mam konie w ranni konie, to i są konie mi. Gdyż ja im za wosa, oni skaczą hoca. Ja mam konie w ranni konie, to i są konie mi. Run my pony, dappled pony, take me far away. Run my pony, dappled pony, take me far away. Find a road that never ends, find a place with lots of friends. So run my pony, dappled pony, take me far away. Run my pony, dappled pony, take me far away. Run my pony, dappled pony, take me far away. Find a road that never ends, find a place with lots of friends. Run my pony, dappled pony, take me far away. <laughs> 